Well, here's the baby chick's new home out in the chicken run. As you can see, I got feeders, waters, and everything's all put together. And there's the back coop. And I'm in the chicken run with them. Here they are. I've almost had them a month. So yesterday, I moved them out. Last night was their first night in the chicken coop. Getting them to come out of the chicken coop was a little rough this morning. But I want to make sure they're secure. I have a few minor holes in the chicken run to finish right up in that corner as you can see right up in there I need to screw that I need to screw that water mash to that cloth and put a couple boards in that corner there's very teeny holes I'm making where nuts can get in here because I'm tired of having raccoons and cats and stupid animals bothering my chickens and I'm tired of pulling out the old 1022 rigger and putting bullets in them so, what I'm going to do now is have a chicken run and keep my chickens in here. They'll have a chicken run that is 10 foot wide and 15 foot long. And the chicken coop is 8 foot wide by 16 foot long. So they got 31 foot space. And then if you start doing the math, by square foot they have quite a bit. And when they get bigger they'll have a place to lay their eggs and such. And then I don't have to worry about groundhogs stealing their eggs. I don't have to worry about raccoons killing them or predatory birds or any of that kind of crap that I put up with in the first time. I should have done this in the very beginning, but things didn't happen quite the way I wanted because I had different obligations and different situations I put myself in. It's all about my chickens now. All about raising these chicks securely and healthy. And there's their food and their water and they got everything they need. And this is fat man from the holler if you like the video like and subscribe and everybody have a wonderful weekend